Hello and welcome to the Corona Yoga Challenge. Today is day 61. And before we start, please check my website to make sure that you're keeping healthy and safe when you're doing your yoga online. Uh, and do subscribe if you want to get the little pop-up emails from YouTube. So if you want to bring yourself into all fours, and actually you're going to come down and onto your elbows today. So you're going to be down on your elbows. We're going to slide our hips forwards and back. Nice easy movement. Go a little bit slowly so you can really feel that lovely way that the body can just gently wake up and ease out. And you can, as the hips back come back, you get that lovely stretch in your feet. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come up into elbow dog pose. So make sure that you're on a mat. Take your elbows nice and narrow or fairly narrow. You're going to tuck your toes under at the back. And what we're going to do today is instead of sliding the hips back, can you imagine that you're just going to press down through your elbows to slowly lift your hips up and get a lovely feeling of lightness in the hips and a little bit of energy coming down through the elbows and down through the forearms. Get a feeling of lengthening out through the legs, so gently sink the heels away if it feels good. And then let your knees come down and onto the ground, and let your head rest down. So nice and soft and easy. I'm going to do that again if you would like to. So elbows down on the ground, spread down through the shoulders, so the shoulders move down and away from your face. Elbows are still quite narrow. Hands are just gently joined and we're trying to make some contact between the outside edge of the arms or the underneath of the arms if your hands are straight down so that you've got contact all the way down through to the pinky. Pressing down through the elbows to slide the hips up, get a lovely feeling of lengthening out through the spine, lifting through the tailbone, gently sink through the heels a little if it feels good and then slide the heels up, get that lifting up of the hips. And then gently take your knees down to the floor. And if you let your hands rest onto the ground, but extend your hip back, hips back so you get a lovely stretch out through the arms. And then bring yourself up to standing, so soft through the knees, fall forwards. Press down through the feet, up through the pelvic floor, up through the tummy. Lift your hands all the way up and overhead and then come back to standing. And then if you make sure that you can stand beside something, so you've got a little bit of support, we're going to come into a dancer pose, which is the one where the leg has the option of coming up to the back. So from a comfortable standing position, from a comfortable standing position, if you just fold one leg up, have the other hand on the support if you would like it, and you're going to take hold of either your ankle, or you can hold on to a bit of trouser leg, or you can use a belt, or you can just have your foot floating. You're going to let your hand come up and overhead. Get a feeling of a little bit of lift in the chest to ease yourself forwards. And then tip yourself back up again. And then we'll come to the opposite side. Same thing, hand on the support. Other leg steps up. Foot can start to move back a touch and hand comes up and overhead. Take a breath out so you feel easy. And then back to standing. We're going to have the option of leaning into that a little bit more so you can bring yourself a little bit further away from your wall. Depending on how that felt, you can be just touching the wall or you can come so far that you're not touching the wall but as you come forwards, you can do. So you're going to take one foot up, hands going to come up and overhead. You're going to slide yourself forwards and then you're going to think about extending your back heel away from your hip and your hand can come gently forward. And then bring yourself all the way back up again and back to standing. Opposite side. Leg lifts up, hand lifts up. We make space through the front of the body. You tip yourself slightly forwards and you send your hip or your leg, your heel away from your hip to ease forwards. And then lift up through the hand. Bring yourself back up and to standing. Settle. Easy breath. We're going to come to the sitting now. I've been moving all my stuff all over the place. <laughs> so if you bring yourself to sitting, you're going to have your legs out in front. And you're going to take the balls of your feet together. So you're going to have 
the center of the feet touching and the heels are wide. So if you were able to look at my feet from above, you'd see there's a kind of gap in the legs. And you're going to take your legs, your feet slightly towards you, but think about the knees being high up so we can get that feeling of a little lift up through the back of the pelvis. Just going to move a little bit further away. And then from here, you're going to ease yourself round and once to one side. So it's a feeling of the tummy lifting up and round. So there's a lovely diagonal movement across the tummy that brings the shoulders round and then the shoulders relax down and the back of the neck lengthens. Bring yourself back to the centre and your opposite side. Same thing, spiralling round with the tummy and then the rib cage. Shoulders soften, back of the neck is long. Bring yourself all the way back to the centre. And then you're going to come to your first side again. This time you're going to take your hand onto your knee and you're just going to gently, you're not pushing your knee down, you're not pushing your knee in, but you're making contact with that knee. So you can bring yourself around easily and with lots of feeling of open space. Bring yourself back to the centre and to the opposite side. Same thing, we're just wanting to get the feeling of width so space in the armpits, space in the sides of the waist, space in the hips and the legs. And then all the way back and to the centre. You're going to extend your legs out and away. And you're going to fold forward so it feels really nice on your back. Knees are as soft as you need so that we can get a lovely feeling of stretching out in the back of the body. And then we're bringing yourself back up to sitting. And we're going to do a little bit of breathing. So if you want to bring yourself into a position where you can be comfortable. So we're going to do the little sips in. So in, 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 and you, you jai breath out. So that soft snore. In, 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 and out. In, in. In and out. That's my daughter. I've taken too long on the computer. So I'm uh, very good. Quickly, I'm going to give you your challenge today, is, which is to do a yoga pose. And your quote is from Bob Harper. Yoga is the fountain of youth. You're only as young as your spine is flexible. Yoga is the fountain of youth. You're only as young as your spine, spine is flexible. It's a thought, but don't be attached to it. If you've got a bad back, it's a bad thought then. Hope you have a good day. Thank you. Bye.